Our training today will be starting a new module, Network Analysis. So this is video one of this module. And uh, in this module, we'll be covering everything that has to do with network analysis. So to begin this video, we're starting with how to prepare network data. So we're preparing the data you're going to use for network analysis. All right, so starting off, we need, uh, we have a few data here. So we have the residential, we have the hospital, we have the road layers, and we have the boundary. This is AMAC. It's Abuja Municipal Area Council. So um, that's where we're using in Nigeria. That's what we're using. So we're preparing the data. We're starting with uh, buildings are digitized. So to, you can, and then, you know, we cannot use polygon for this. That's where we convert the polygon to a point. So the first thing you do is to prepare your data by coming to future. You type in on the search button box, future to point. So you convert this polygon to a point, future to point. So choose the building and then you select the portion you want this point to be. And then may I'll leave it at the default layer. So um, it's going to convert this and then So it's converted. Okay, so it's converted to the point. So you can see the point here. All right, so the next is we have a point prepared for a residential. So let me, I've done it before. I just did it again for you to see. So let's remove this. Okay, so this is our data for that. So the next, we are going to be dealing with the road. Okay, so. All right, let's come on the road. And then um, all of this data has to be on projected coordinate system. Okay, so you have to be on pro uh, co uh, projected coordinate system. So our road especially. So let's go get, check that. Whether we're already on the projected coordinate system. Okay, so we are not on projector coordinate system, we are on GCS, geographic coordinate system. So the next thing we'll do to the road layer is to convert it to a project it to projector coordinate system. So search on the toolbar project, and then you use project under data management. Instead of going to the toolbox to go through this, I prefer to just search. Once you know the name of the tool, you just search and then it should pop up. Okay, so it's popped up and then I fix in the road. It's showing the coordinate system is so I'm projecting it to a new one, which uh you go to project code projector coordinate system, then you go to UTM, then you go to WGS nineteen eighty four, northern hemisphere, then soon. 32 k zone 32 and then you add it to your favor so that you don't keep coming every time but myself i've added it so that's why so then um we go to where we want to save and then we use this folder And then this folder, we change it because we need the data as a shape file. Okay. Uh, let's drop it here. We can export it as shape file anyway. So, uh, okay, let's leave it at default folder. Let's leave it at default folder. We'll project it later on. So we okay. It's projected so now we remove this road and then we export this to the folder we want but we want it in shapefile 
that's the reason why I didn't put it in a folder. So we want all of this data. Data that you use for network analysis should be on shapefile. Okay, so uh, I'm exporting, exporting it to Okay. Yes, it's actually nice. Well, yeah, I want it. So now the next thing, I remove this also. So we have our root layer now. But then, when you come to editor, and then you click on this, you will realize that the root are cut at just anywhere they feel like. Okay. So what we need to do first is to dissolve this. So you go to geoprocessing and then you click on dissolve. So we'll bring in the, the root layer which we want to dissolve. And then uh, we can leave it at default layer since I'm still going to um, do other things. So let's leave it at default layer. I can later. So let's dissolve it. Um, if you click on this dissolve now, just click one layer, you realize that all of them will be selected. Okay, so, okay, let's uncheck this. So once you click on this, you see that all of them are selected. So you see all of them are selected. So now what we do next is stop editing. Then we go back to go back to search box and we type future to line this time around. So we are converting the fu entire future into a segment of lines. Okay. So that's what we're doing now. So you click on the one under data management. So okay. And then you bring in the dissolve tool. Uh, then yeah, we put in our root here. So we can say root comma. Since we have root future already, layer already and it. So now it's going to convert this to line. Okay, so I'm back here. All right, so it's directed to land. Okay, so next you right click on the road layer and then you go to attribute table. Um, so we create a new field, add a new field. So this new field we call it length, which is want to generate the length of this. Now, for you to be able to generate this length, your data has to be on projected coordinate system. That's why we did that projection. So you see that length is approved here, but if it was not, you will see that they will not approve length, something like that. So, so our length is being calculated right now. So Next, we add another field, sorry, not select. We add another field, and this time we name it uh, speed. Want to calculate the speed? So you right click on top of the layer and you go to uh, cal uh, field calculator. Now, the default this uh distance per hour is four four thousand kilometer per hour. So um in meters is forty thousand. So 
be okay for it to compute and write it on this place automatically. Since it's the same value, there's other calculation depending on what you want to do at the point. Okay, so uh, you can check out more details on how to calculate it for this. Okay, but this I'm using the default value, which is 4000, but we are using this in meters. That's the reason why I'm doing that in uh, I'm putting out the 40,000. So now the next, it will add another field. And this field will be called time. And this time I'm going to be in minutes. Okay, so it's okay. So now, once you calculate the time, right click and then you go to field calculator. Then what's the formula? The formula is length divided by Length divided by the speed. Sorry. Length divided by the speed. Also divide by, since we need it in minute, divide by 60. And then we OK. So it's going to calculate it in minutes. The time is going to appear now in minutes. Okay, so here is the time it's calculated. So this is all the data you need to prepare. So the next video we will be we'll start with the network data set. So um, stay tuned for the next video. The last video we were able to prepare the data that will be used in creating the network data set. So on this video we'll be creating the network data set that we'll use for the analysis. All right, so this is the root layer. Is the root layer you're going to use in creating the network um, data set, okay? So you use the root layer which we've prepared to create the network data set. So to do that, you right click on the very root layer you've prepared and then you click on new network data set. You can change this name or you can leave it depend on you. All right. So let's say uh, I will just change it and say it's AMAG. And let's leave it like that. So we'll go next. Do you want to model tons in this network? No. And then you continue next you continue next now here you remember we created we added a field called length and the length were in meters and then we calculated uh, the time in minutes so the unit will also be in minute because the time was calculated in minute so because of those things we did it's reflecting here so you can now next you next again and then you next again, and then you finished. The network data, the network data set has been created. Would you like to build it now? Yes, I want to build the network data set. Okay, so I said, do you also want to add all futures classes that participate in AMAC, that's the network data set, to the map? Yes, please. So it has added the junctions and every the edges. It has added everything, the every every that is participating in this creation. So.
So all the junctions has been created from the road. So this is what you use in um in doing the um analysis. So from now on, we'll be taking them one by one. So we'll start with the new route, then to service area, to closest facility, new OD matrix, new vehicle routing problem, all of those. We're going to take them one by one. So I will see you in the next video. So stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment. See you. So in our previous video, we looked at how to prepare network data set and then how to build the network and uh, data set as well. So today we'll be looking at how you could use all of those things we've done so far to um, do the following. Well, note that before your network analyst will work, you have to get, we'll be using the network analyst tool, which you come on this blank space, not this white one, not this one, but this. You right click on it and then you scroll down, use this down button, then you see this network analyst. We bring it out. Okay. Now, for this tool to be active, it requires that you must have turned it on. Uh, when you come to costume, and then you come to extension. It has to be turned on network analyst now any of if it's off let's off it and see automatically you see that this will go off so make sure before you start you have to turn this on because you'll be wondering why you everybody is going and then the, your own is not doing so you take note of that so these are the two things you need to take care of first so first and foremost, we'll be looking at on this video, we'll be looking at the new road, the new route. Okay, so once you click on the new route, it's going to bring out this. Once this is bring, brought, uh, brought out, the next you do is you come to this one here that has a flag and something like a sheet of paper. Okay, so you click on it and then it's going to bring out the route. Now, here is... The little things you need to understand about this whole thing. Let me off this road. It's disturbing us anyway. So um now what do you need to understand about this uh, data to use? You know, we're using the road and then we're also using some of the language. And then here we have stop. Stops means where you're beginning from and where you're stopping. Okay. So let's take for instance with the data I have here, the the red signify um, supermarket, the yellow signify hotel, and then the blue signify um, a hospital, right? So those would be my stuff. For example, let me paint a scenario. I enter Abuja and then I lodge in a hotel okay let's check what's the name of the hotel i lodge in okay i lodge in a con hotel and then i'm um, to see someone what takes me to abuja is to see a sick person so i wanted to go to a shop right get something that i will go and see the person in the hospital so what i want to do now is which route should i take which house is the best that i can take and get there that's a topic we are working on today so um let me bring this back these are all the roads we're using so um we already have what we needed so under these stops right click on it and then you load locations so the locations will be okay i'm moving from the hotel nikon hotel and now okay then i right click again and load locations this time I'm going to the supermarket, which is the shop right. Okay. Uh, okay, then the last location will be will be me going to the hospital finally to see whoever I want to see. 
Okay, so now that I've loaded those locations, I do not have any barrier. Okay, so um, I don't want to create any barrier anyway. But well, basically, I have. Do I have any settings? Let's see. Okay, the analysis setting, I want to either go by minutes or I want to go by length. So it depends on, but then let's go with minutes. And let's say we use a start time. And then we also, days of the week is today, which is 6.03. But start time, let's say it's 2 p.m. Let's say it's 2 p.m. 2 2 28 p.m. Okay, so um, let's allow everything and then we apply. Okay, so that's what we're going to use. So we okay, I think network locations. Let's see. Okay, uh, okay, all these stops have been applied. There's no point barrier, none of those. Okay, so let's okay. So now, once we've done this, the next thing we'll do is we'll come here. I will click solve. It's the weight of the um the weight of the road. Okay, so it has solved our road for us this I don't know, should we say the shortest route or the fastest route, which anyone, but anyway, it has solved it for us. For... Okay, so, um, you can see that it moves from point one to point two to point three. That is, it takes me to the shop right, which is our supermarket, and then to the hospital. Now, you click on the road now, the road it has given us, which is, it's on uh, Nizamiya Hospital Road. So it goes from Nikon to Nizamiya Hospital. Okay, that's the name of the hospital. So if I right click on it now and ask for directions. Oh, it said the data set does not support driving directions. Okay, so it's from the data set. Okay, so I okay. You remember when we were creating this? I did not allow data set driving location. So when you're creating your data set, I remember now you must also allow driving look directions. So I actually said no. Well, I was creating the data set, so it will not work for this. But while you're creating your data set. You can allow the driving directions okay so basically this is how you can know your shortest route or shortest distance and then you can also do that you can change this from uh you can make this to be number one then every other thing remains the same like uh from hospital now to to the shop right and then to the Come from most to the shop right and then to Nikon. That's from there you want to come back the same uh, direction. So if we calculate this again, ah, sorry, I'm trying to move. Uh -huh. So if we calculate this now, we solve it again, you realize that it has changed the whole thing from number three to number one again so let's solve it and see so this is now one two three now sometimes you realize that the the time of uh, travels or the direction if from going let's say from where you started from the hotel to the shop right and then to the hospital you realize that when you invert the whole thing it may give you a different time of travels okay so basically this is how to do um, neural and then I'll see you in the next video where we explore the other options. For now, bye bye.
Okay, so still on the network analysis, we looked at previously um, the neural tools, but we still want to do another part of it. Now, the previous ones we used was just um, a scenario where I painted the move from hotel to a supermarket and then to the hospital. But in this scenario we have here, is we have a couple of hospitals we want to get to. So the hospital is our route. All the hospitals, we have about how many hospitals within the area council. So we're going to use it in this time as the stop. Okay, so let me add another new road, leaving the first one. So new road has been added and then it's asking for stop. So this time around, I'm just going to add one stop as a load location and then um, hospital. So you see that all the hospitals are labeled one to their entire number. So we have uh, over six stops here. And uh, so we still have the previous one, but anyway, let's click solve. Okay, let's check out this. Let's look at the setting and make some adjustment. Note that, um, this data set I prepare, the direction, drive direction is not enabled. So when you are preparing your own, depending on what you want to do, you either enable the drive direction or you leave it like that. So depending on what you want. So our time is still the minute. So I think nothing more. So you okay. And then you click solve. So it's going to create a kind of direction across all the hospitals okay so you want to create more like okay this is how you navigate through from one hospital to the other from this hospital to that so you can also use multiple points as many as they are and then you can also use barriers so in one of the video i will explain how you can use barriers in case in most of this case scenario so also you can also save this um you can export this uh data so if you right click on this i already said the direction is not enabled so you can also export this more like you save it for later this whole direction you see that it is selected as i click on it it's all selected so that's all the route you use to get to um all these hospitals within the capital city okay so um so you go to data and then you export data so So we can name this direction and then we save. So it's exporting and then this has been exported. Okay, so it's been exported and then that's all. So basically you can also use most whether it is that of um whether that of the supermarket or that of the hotel or that of any other data, they serve as the stop. Now, in summary, the locations or points you have are serving as your stop and the route will be the direction. So these two components are what make up a network analysis. So you have the stop, which is either it is uh, a hotel, is it a hospital, a restaurant, or anything, depending on what direct the um, the 
the analysis is all about, then you need the road. So which is what we've been doing. So this is more like part two of the new road. So we'll be proceeding to the service area. So stay tuned. And then for now, bye bye. Now welcome back to this series we've been on the network analysis. We'll be able to look at how to prepare data for network analysis, how to build network um, data set. I've looked at how to do neural part one, part two. Today we'll be looking at the service area, as new service area. So as usual, if you're just joining on, you have to go through the previous videos to get an insight on how this thing is properly done. Okay, so you come to your an network analyst and then you click you come down to new service area it's going to come up like this so you will now come to this brother here network analyst window the first one after the network analyst so you click on it is going to bring out this options here so you right click on this now the idea that this is going to do is that we want to um, look at Within this area, this is a hospital actually, we're going to use hospital, we have other data, but we want to use hospital since we used hospital in the first video. But we'll still use video, uh, this video to make, so that it can make more sense. All right, so um, within this area, within the routes that are guiding the, how, who are the people within five meter, 500 meter radius access these health cares within here. So that's what we want to look at. So that's, the scenario I want to portray on this um, service area, new service area. So to do that, we right click on this and we load our locations as usual. We have hospital already in, so let's just go with it and let's OK. All right, so all the hospitals are identified and then, OK, so next we will try to look at the radius we want it to cover. And then first you change this to length so it's using the meters length sorry meter and then let's look at 500 first and then let's okay and then once that is done we click on solve and then wait for result so it's solved if you look at here this hospital here you look at that this is the Places that are accessible to this hospital, the route that are accessible to this hospital within 500 meter radius. Okay, so um, that is how it all went around all of them. If you check all of them, you will see the same thing across. So, and then let's say we don't just want to know one, we want to have an idea like a more like a gradient, like let's know in 500, in 1000, in 2000, in 5000, how is it going to look like? Okay, so we'll go back to this settings here, the settings for, that's the property for the service area. And then here we just put comma, comma, we put 1000 meters, comma, we put 1500 meters, comma, we put 2000 meters. Let's say, okay, let's make it by 3000 meters. And then we OK. So we'll click Soft again. And then this time it's going to do them like more like a layer producing yeah, a polygon. So each of them now we have that of, we have the one of 500 meters, the one of 1,000 meters, 2,000 meters, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 meters around the whole of this hospital. So basically, uh, we could change the color gradient by kind of like the color gradient that this is producing right now so we can see but i think let's make it more distinguishable so that we know okay we have this is 500 500 here and then the 1000 2000 then till 3000 so to make it more distinguished let's put a yellow to 500 so that we could see it verbally then we put uh this color to 1000 so that's for 1000 then we'll put this color to 
we put which color I'll put the green okay let's use green for the next one and we use red for the next one and then the last one let's say we make it blue just for the purpose of distinguishing the factor okay so this is basically this is basically um all we've done for the service area so without any delay i think we are done so any question any thing can be dropped on the comment section and then i will get right to it so stay tuned for the next video coming up Hello and welcome back to this series we've been on. We've done, um, we've been able to do a network, prepare the network data set that we need for this analysis. We've also built the network data set. We've also do, done, uh, we've done, uh, we've done quite a number of analysis done new rules we've done a service area and then we're currently on the closest facilities so this closed facility required two things the stops and then the residential so with on one of the stops we want to use which are um let me see we change this hotel So this hotel have only one, so we can obviously use it. So let's remove it. So we're either going to be using the hospital or okay, let's use the supermarket. All right, so these are the two data required for this analysis, the road, the residential data, and then the stops now, which is the supermarket we're going to be using. So to get started, you click on the network analyst tool then you go down to closest new closest facility and then you go to the network analyst window then you click to bring out this so your facilities now will be you load up the you load up the residential sorry the supermarket uh oh it's not this so this is the supermarket with one incident, sorry, one facility. Let's load up the second supermarket. Second supermarket. Okay, so now we have a total of nine facilities. Okay, so the next is to load up our location, which, sorry, the, our incidents, which is the residential. And then we're okay. So it's going to take some more time to worry up and then let's give it some time and look at how it goes, the process, the progress. 97, 90, 900. Okay, so um, let's quickly remove the down one. We have 6,400 and 43 uh, incidents so now we'll go to the property window of the incident uh, of the closest facility we we'll turn this to length and we say we're doing this at 3000 that's it and then we move from facility to incident you can move between facility to incident and incident mm -hmm. to facility but then let's try this one first and then we'll run the second one using the other one. Okay, so uh, so I think we have nine facilities. Then I don't know, but then let's try this and see. Okay, so and then we give it a solve.
So let's look at what has been solved and let's look at if there is any thing at all. Is any thing at all? I think there's absolutely nothing. We did not find any root. Okay, let's make some change to the settings. Let's return this to one. And then travel from incidents to facility and then give it a solve again and see. So it generated over that three thousand or three thousand three hundred and sixty-five root within all of them. So you can look at you see that are closest to this facility. So you can see that these residents also take part, they follow this route to take part in this in the whole of this region. So if you look at it, all of them, you can see these are all the route taking part in this and uh, these people are uh, being able to access all of these facilities within and then come to here is the same thing so within three meter that three thousand meter radius you can see the whole thing generate for all of them so basically this is how to find the closest facilities okay so basically i think we've come to an end for the but then let's change the route and so that we can look at it very well because it was closest to the sorry it was having the same color with the um, with the residentials so I think you could see it very well now okay so um, let me give it a color like that it's more faded so that we could have a better look at what we've done so far so now what is left is that you right click on the root and then you export this root as normal future class. So here we call it what we call it closest underscore facility. All right, so closest facility and then we save it. Okay. So it's exporting the 3,365 root that has been created as the closest to the nine um, incidents which were our which were our which were our supermarket. Okay, so um, if you've come this far. Just know that we appreciate your effort looking up and watching, subscribing, viewing. Anything you would do just to make sure this YouTube channel will make progress. We appreciate it and then um, you could join our membership and then you could support us through our Patreon page. You could support us by joining and then dropping some sequence. Alright, so we appreciate it to enable us to keep doing the content we are doing. Enable us with energy to eat and come back to give you more content so i love you so much and then we'll see you in the next video where we explore more options on this network analysis thank you to run up this training we will be looking at the last tool we are trying to solve on this network analysis so um yeah you have to do yourself favor by going through all our previous videos to look at what we've done so far to where we are now okay so um today we'll be looking at the new od cost matrix so you click on it on the network analyst then you also come here and click it's going to bring out the 
body. So here it is it's more like what we've done previously. That's like um, the closest facilities. So where we have the origin, that we have facility and we have uh, incident. But this time around we have origins and we have destinations. So our origins will be um, will be we we'll use hospital now. Our origin will be the hospital. Okay. We have six hospitals. And then our destination will be residential. Okay, so uh, let's go to the residential. And then we'll load it. It's going to take time just as usual. And let me post it, post it and come back when it's done. Okay, it has loaded successfully. And then, um, so we'll go back to the settings. We'll use minute this time and then we we'll use just one minute or let's say two minutes. Let's use one minute. If we do not do then we we'll change to two minutes. Okay, so uh okay. And then we give it a solve. So let's solve. It has generated 38,634 lines. So let's look at it as okay. So this way the lines is generated for the OD for one minute. So you could reduce it and then so this is basically how it's been done within the lines, the, the root segment. It generated this, so that's the um OD matrix. But basically, this is okay. Let's yeah, let's remove this. The destination and allow our residential to appear so that okay, let's allow our residential to appear so you see basically what the OD has done, it uses the residential uh, distance to generate the So because of the weight of the whole thing that's why it's that heavy but then now you can look at how what is has generated generated the line segment around all the places that has the um the residential because the residential was our destination from the origin so it extend that line so this is how you can run the od matrix analysis all right so this brings us to the end of this network uh, analysis. I will be starting a new one. The whole of this analysis, we start it with, uh, we use shapefile all through. So we'll be using the geodatabase to do the other one. So we'll be doing everything in December, just using geodatabase and see how it's been carried out. So it keeps tune with us and then support us in any way you can. For now, I love you and bye-bye.